what egg counts um, do you think really start to moderate the yield or, or send us backwards more than us being able to go forward? Any egg count is serious. I say that if a farmer tells me they have a little bit of SCN, that's like telling someone you're a little bit pregnant. 2,000 and below, we would consider low, but there still would be yield loss if you didn't manage it. And then from 2,000 to 12,000 is considered moderate, and anything above 12,000 is considered high. The uh, recommendation for above 12,000 is you need to seriously think about not growing soybeans for another year to get those egg counts down, and that's because even the best resistant soybean varieties suffer yield loss when you get to egg counts that are up into the 12 and 15 and 20,000 eggs per half a cup of soil. We've talked about one, and that is growing years of corn, alternating years of corn with beans. The second one is to grow resistant soybean varieties. And the third option is seed treatments. And we want farmers to use all three of those. The resistant varieties used to be our mainstay of management. They worked wonderfully well. They didn't cost any more for the seed than non-resistant seed. But the problem was that for 25 years, those resistant varieties, virtually all of them had the same resistance genes. That common source of resistance is called PI88788. Now there's an uncommon source of resistance called Peking. Uh, it's in about 5% of the varieties that Iowa farmers could pick from to grow. And in the early days, it yielded less than any variety with PI88788. That's why 95% of the varieties on the market have PI88788. But because the nematode has built up the ability to feed on PI88788, it's dragging yields down, and we're seeing varieties with Peking out yielding them.